another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. Our objectives are to understand Microsoft Excel format codes and then create some custom formats in Excel. Custom formatting in Microsoft Excel version 2007. I've opened the Format Cells dialog box to examine some of the custom options associated with formatting in Microsoft Excel. It's really helpful to understand the formatting codes. Let's take a look at what's available under Custom. The first option is General. I don't know what that means, but okay. The next one is Zero. Uh, again, I'm not really sure about that, but let's move on. The third is 0, 0.00. Here I can guess that if I have a number in the cell, it'll show two places to the right of the decimal. The next one, pound, comma, pound, pound, zero. Now I don't know what the pound symbols mean, but with the comma there, I can guess that it's going to be used as a thousands separator. I'm feeling pretty good. Pound, comma, pound, pound, zero, point, zero, zero. Comma is a thousand separator, two places to the right of the decimal. Now it gets dicey. Pound, comma, pound, pound, zero, underscore, close parentheses, semicolon, open parentheses, pound, comma, give me a break. Come on, Bill, you're killing me. All right, here's the deal. If I have a zero as a format code and there's a number in that position in the cell, Excel will show the number, else it will show zero. If I have a pound symbol serving as a placeholder and there is a number in that position, Excel will display the number, else it will show nothing. So that's the difference between a pound symbol and a zero as a placeholder in Microsoft Excel. The semicolon indicates the appearance of negative numbers. So in this example, to the right, negative numbers will be displayed inside of parentheses. Look at the word red down below here. How do you think a negative number will appear in Excel if I see the word red inside square brackets? If you guess that the value would appear red, pat yourself on the back, you are correct. So creating custom format codes. In B1, I have straight text. You can see it in the formula bar, department code 100. The formatted cell below that, if I type in 200, hit the enter key, I see the tax department code and the, num the number 200. 200 is the value that's in the cell, but the display includes text. How do you make that happen? I'm going to access the Format Cells dialog box. Take a look at the custom category, and here's the code that I typed. Department code, inside quotation marks, with a space and then two pound symbols. Okay. Here I have degrees and minutes, 43 degrees, 70 minutes, latitude and longitude. The degree symbol is created by holding down the Alt key and using the number pad typing 0176. Who would ever know that? Dell Institute would. If I go to the cell below, C2, type 4370, accept the entry the degree symbol and the minute sign is being displayed. In the Format Cells dialog box, with the Custom tab selected, the Custom Category selected, notice I have 0, 0, the degree symbol, 0, 0, and the single quote. This is the code that produces the degree symbol and the quotation mark for latitude and longitude. In D1, I have straight text. 0606 to 0609. In D2, the formatted cell, I'll type 06, 06, 05, 09. And when I accept the value, the appearance is 06 06, the word 2, 05, 09. Sort of like a month date range. In the Format Cells dialog box, under the custom category, here's the code. I type 00-00, space, then the word 2 inside quotation marks, space 00-00, and it produces the text. 
Let's take a look at date, time, format codes in Excel. You want a shortcut to point the current date into an Excel cell or an access field where the data type is set to date, time, it is control, semicolon. Today's date. The current default date format is displayed in the cell. If I access the format cells dialog box, let's take a look at the custom side. These are the date formats M slash D slash and then four Y's. M stands for month, D stands for day, and Y stands for year. If I type three M's, a space, two D's, a comma, space, and four Y's, the sample above shows me what the date format will look like. With three M's, wouldn't you know this is May, it's not three letters of the month, it's the month abbreviated. Two D's, zero eight. Four Y's would give me the year in total, as opposed to two Y's would show 09. Two M's, 05, 08. Get it? Kind of makes sense. And I'll cancel. Custom formats of Microsoft Excel version 2007. Another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the Office Savon, Dell Institute.com.